What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, and we are here with the Black Clover movie, Sword of the Wizard King. I am so giddy to get back into Black Clover. I'm sure a lot of you guys missed Black Clover with me, found me through Black Clover, this, that, and the third. This is going to be Netflix. Remember, if you guys want to watch the full, uncut, unedited version with me, you guys can check out the Patreon down below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Let's hop right on into it. Netflix, Black Clover, Sword of the Wizard King. Let's do it. Ten years ago. Ooh. Ooh, I can't lie. The animation already looks beautiful. We have a lot of captains. Look at a young uh, gray deer, uh, Julius and Yami. I saw Nozel. I saw, was it Gweldry? No, Gwel it was Kaiser. What is he doing? All he's in their respective slot. I have no idea what's going on. I just love we're right back into the magic. Like no breaks, no nothing. He's breaking his restraints with what looks like every kind of magic there is. Like, yeah, he literally looks like he's using every fucking element. Mariliona, the goat, the queen. Ooh. The Imperial Sword. I must create it. So my man Conrad shortened shorten his own life to use the imperial sword to create something this is looking beautiful talk about an opening battle set piece in what looked to be a coliseum talk about an intro Ooh, stop time froze him froze the sword separately from him did the three level barrier of time stoppage Our national treasure. So it's like that important. I mean, yeah, if it's losing the sword or letting you have it, you know. Oh, I love his eyes right now. Is my ninja way. Well. Talk about a sunrise. It's about. To, oh, that was crazy for our first opening sequence of the movie. I was like, are we going to get an opening? Because normally that's where it would cut to the Black Clover opening. But we get like a movie style opening. Okay. Ooh. 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 I got goosebumps. This looks much more familiar to what we know. Oh. Not these modeled shots, though. Guys, you guys are going to hear me rave about the animation. I love Black Clover, but Black Clover in a movie budget animation is a different ball game. Mimosa, Klaus, Festival of Magic Battles. Once we're just gonna have a once a decade Festival of Magic Battles take place in a movie. I'm down. That sounds amazing. Shouts out to the Magic Knights. Shouts out to Sister Lily, everyone watching. Sister Teresa, Rebecca Fonzel. I can already tell this movie's about to be so good. Oh my god, I'm geeking already. Yep. That's a good question. I do, well, I want to pause it real quick just to say, I do know the timeline of this, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, takes place between um, volume 23 and 24, which is in that six month period during the training, right? Right before the whole spade everything happens at the end correct me if i'm wrong on that so asa i gotta remember for timeline sakes that asa still exiled for the devil everything you know devil wise have we got introduced to knocked yet i don't think so because that's still spade yami's still here he's not taken oh my it's crazy to think everything that's gonna happen in the future that looks like asta he's gonna be the hidden warrior i like it the masked one second game of thrones when they would have uh tournaments you know for warriors they would have hidden knights you know, try to mask their identity that's not conrad is it whoa 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 what are we unlocking whoa how is he back already i thought we had him sealed 
Are these all old wizard kings? Barrier Matic, Voodoo Shangrilla? So the movie is just going. Like, there's no breaks, there's no this, that. We're just going. There's the Imperial Sword. And Julius can't save the day this time because he has not nowhere near the powers. Oh, that's when he, like, used those 13 years he had stored up to re-whatever his life. That, you know, that would make sense for a viable time in which Conrad can escape, you know. Legion magic? Gehenna? Whoa. This reminds me of Harry Potter. Locomotive, lo something, you know, when, uh, I don't, I can't even speak anymore. I'm speechless. You guys know what I'm trying to say, though. Deathly Hollows Part 2. Shout out, Asta. Doesn't matter who thinks what of us. We're on trial for this, that, and the third. We're going to still save people. Do what we need to. Arigato. Let's get out of here. Oh, this shot? Asta gets to go crazy. That is hilarious. Oh, I love seeing Sea Dragons roar. Noelle is... Uh, it's so up for grabs. Her and Mimosa being my favorite of the show. Okay. Shout out the respectable old man. Shout out, was that Charmy who saved us? Let's go, Black Bulls. Let's go, Wizard Kings. I don't even know what to feel right now. Again, we're not taking any breaks. No breathers. No nothing. Oh. Dark clothes. Lightless blade storm. Oh my god. He's sending a rain fire of dark slashes. Kaiser, Leopold, Rill, Dorothy. We're hitting everybody. Oh yeah, because Kaiser was there. Which, I don't want to pause it again. Just real quick. Did Kaiser, and maybe this might answer it, but this is also after. Because it was 10 years ago. Maybe Kaiser was just on... The purple orcas, is that the, I don't, I don't even remember. Uh, but wasn't Gweldry the captain of the purple team, the purple magic squad knights? And then he got uh, outed as the traitor to the Eye of the Midnight Sun. So then Kaiser became the captain. Was it like the Naruto third Hokage situation where Kaiser was first, then he stepped down, maybe retire and go eat cookies. And then Gweldry came, and then Kaiser had to come back like the third and fourth Hokage. I'm curious, just random side thought. With Nero, Sekre, what are, what are, uh, hey kid, you're up, go with Julius, General, take us to the research branch zero, I'm down. Is that the same voice actor for Uro Kodaki from Demon Slayer? It sounds very familiar. Ooh, great cut, ooh, great dodge. That is something that's interesting because of how much magic has evolved over the times. Like, there's no such thing as, like, paint magic or other things now that there were back then. So they want to analyze it and learn about the new magics. That's so cool. That's a bar from Dorothy. <laughs> I'm awake for a change, but this is like a dream. <laughs> I love that. Well, the stadium itself is the same Coliseum Stadium where the incident went down 10 years ago and is also an altered weapon by Conrad. What in the flying fuck? Festival Stadium. What the hell do we do? Thank the Lord, Asta maybe can go to Branch Zero and find something. But we didn't take Julius with us, right? So do we know what to find or oh what up Nero Secre how you doing Sally of course Sally and Nero would both be at like a research developing station that makes so much sense the innermost part of branch zero what are we gonna use to get rid of Conrad
I would ask how we got in here, but he can unlock anything, you know? Yami, out for the count. Nozel? Bagolian? That's how he takes it? He just unlocks your grimoire? More like he locks it. He literally turns into like stone. Almost some Medusa type shit. So he's, he's kind of like Sukasa from Dr. Stone. Similar. He wants this very select world. And together we'll create a world of peace and happiness together. They always say some bullshit like this, you know. That is the country Asta wants to create, but with everyone there. Not some, literally not some bullshit. Now he's heated. And now he's pissed. That is one thing we know is true. He will never give up. That's his ninja way. Finral. That's why he made that face when Asta said that. I mean, he is very similar to Asta. It's like when you take one wrong turn down your path, though. He's gone a completely separate journey than Asta. And well, she's not going to have her magic the rest of this movie. I'm going to be butthurt if that's the case. Yup. People were, were willing to sacrifice their lives to fight for us, so we gotta do the same for the people, you know, that we care about. Look at how yoked my man looks. It's my turn. Yup. Gotta get support from the people. Come on. Shout out. Mimosa, Neron, you know. We may not, I was literally just about to say that. We may not be strong by ourselves, but we have each other's back. We're support, you know. It's been a minute since I've done that. I can't lie. I miss doing that to Julius every time. Come on. Shout out Austin. Words of inspiration. Good man. Good man. Conrad's already here, of course. Mary Leona! Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, my wife. And Marks? And fucking what's his name? And Charlotte? And William? And Jack? Who else is walking through the snow? Even though it's a movie and it obviously feels different from the show, it feels so much like. Black Clover. Like, this is like they would do right before the elf infiltration arc, right before any, like, the spade arc. This is the kind of regrouping, get-together, planning, talking, eating, recharging that we always do that I love about Black Clover. This feels so much like Black Clover. Vanessa, come on, that's my wife. We're about to have Magna, Luck, Grey, Zora, Inra, Ghost. So she has her magic because Charmy refilled it with the food, but she can't use her specific spells. We got uh, Vanessa making us a new Black Bulls headband. We need one. And uh, the whatever it's called. Cape scarf. I don't know what it's called. It's amazing. Who knows? Alright, let's do this. Beautifully handled. <laughs> and we have so many guests. Henry's like, say less, mother trucker. Let's get this bitch going. I mean, suck a little some of your mana. No, no, no. I like that. Give Henry some mana, keep eating. I love the way they're coloring their mana right now. Flying bulls base mode activated. 
Look at how sick that looks. Jack saw their hand on that, same with Charlotte. This is literally all he loves to do. Slish and slash. Crimson Mind Spear. <laughs> I love Charlotte. I love the Briar magic too. Yeah. Oh my god. We're going to use Briar plus Cutting plus the World Tree. What are we about to do, William? Giant Mistil Time. He created a perfect tunnel for us. So these three were the only reason we were able to escape. Thank you, Charlotte, Jack, and William. I can't do that anymore. I'm so not used to doing this anymore. I miss you guys. You guys remember when we watched that one Black Clover opening for the first time when he first had the big sword? We're all like, what the fuck is that? Now look at this. Look at this thrust. Look at this. Uh, what was that one move Asta has? Black Bull Flying Thrust or something like that? Leona punches the shit back level. Are you serious? Make an extra barrier in between. That one should be hopefully easier to cut through. I mean, it is anti-magic. Come on. Is that both barriers? I think that is. Let's go. Huge. I like how even though his magic is barrier magic, he can use that to create almost anything. In terms of offense or defense. This animation is going insane. It has been a minute since I've gotten to see this. Oh my lord. Spirit assimilation. Spirit die brings me right back. Oh, oh, I love this shit. Oh, we all have our own split off fights. Not one of you is allowed to die either. They're eating, refueling. Who's going to be fighting Princia? Don't tell me it's just one on one female female. I'll fucking geek. This is the most honest and straight up fight we're ever going to have. Mayor Leona's been waiting for this. The perfect challenge. Got the music pumping, the fights are going. So they have an unlimited pool of fucking magic. Endlessly. It's like it's like reincarnated Madara. It's like bullshit. It is him and Yami's here? These might be the best team up or fights ever. Black Bulls versus old ice cool dude. This guy versus Yami and you know, and then Mary Leona and Princia the entire time. Ah, he did lure you in here. Oh, and Nozel. And Fweggy. Oh, hell yes. You focus on attacking. Four of the coolest characters in Black Clover versus this guy. This is going to be crazy. Oh, we're getting right into the fights. With the reversal. I like it. With luck right on him. Ooh. I didn't realize he caught that. He can ch Ooh, that's clean. That was clean. I love the way he just gently landed on it. Sue. 
Oh, he has a disdain towards nobles and royals. He seems like a decent dude. Just misguided. I love that shot. I love that shot. Of Ooh! World and Church. Wow. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god, as we cut back to the hottest woman in the show, no pun intended. Oh, she can literally instantly switch boss with her legion. That's so strong. She can cauterize the wound instantly. Blue? You know how hot that bitch has got to be to have blue fire? Who are you, Azula? Princia? Bunny Bunny! Once you make her go all out, she loves it. She has a completely different person. As we cut back- Oh my god, these fights! Isn't it crazy, given like another 10 plus years, individually, some of our people should be as strong as these wizard kings, you know? Like, you know, could be doing this to 10 captains himself, you know? Your taste in nicknames is horrible. Yami's the nickname guy. <laughs> good reflection, good blinding. Fogolian with the Mercury, with everything together. The barrier in between them, the double barrier, the triple barrier. A rather unrefined move. He's breaking through. I like how all the Wizard Kings have like this second phase, like we're playing Elden Ring. Princia gets excited when someone actually pushes her to her limit. This dude is just... They're all fucking so broken. So it's just unleashing all the magic stored up from that singularity point here in Hodge. It's just going to destroy everything. Can you stop that? Break it. That's a bar with both of them on opposite sides right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, look at her. That's why she acts the way she acts. She has no opponent that can even bring out this personality of hers. It's not over yet. What's going on in Mary Leona's head right now? It's my grit. Oh my god. This wall. Oh my god. Oh 
She, she has to be talking about Fuegolian, right? I, I mean, everyone that just walked past her is one of her rivals, you know, but... She is like a Megazord now. They all have their Mega Final Form OP. Like, it's like Julius' time stoppage when Lick did his whole thing, Patrick did his whole thing. This is like, what? Oh my lord, look at that. There's no right or wrong in a fight like this, but to protect, we got our Mercury Fire imbued fucking sword combo dimension slash scorching light. That took one of the strongest moves I've ever seen in Black Clover to beat this guy, and he's a uh, thrust, the bull thrust. What the fuck was it called? Bro, how do these fights get crazier and crazier? How are they elevating them? He can make like a barrier connecting his doors. You can be my successor. Interesting. The Wizard King of the New World. If it means a Wizard King of... And everyone he loves is dead. It doesn't matter. He wouldn't want to be with. Yeah, not in a million years. Oh, that's straight from Julius, too. That's straight from Julius. Well, it looks like this looks like when he went against Ladros. Even the slash also just made is regenerated. What the hell can Conrad do? He's twirling around his magical portals and set oh my god this guy is like a what he's going super conrad this looks like some shit i would see out of seven deadly sins i can't lie you still have to deal with the ice guy too crap ash it's even bigger We do need Asta to pull that sword out. Wow, we can see him moving in the hurricane. Not even looking. Oh my god. Bro, Conrad looks crazy with the no pupil fucking elemental look. That's just not true. While you just see him as dying and being weak, he literally saved every citizen. Same with Lumiere. And when that, that happened with Zagri, up. What's with this music? Oh, when they do this, fourth represents luck. Fifth represents what? What's up, Lee Bay? What's up, my boy? Oh, yeah. In a lump sum later. The double wingatures? Yes, they do. Why, you're going to be that one day, my boy. They can be someone's hopes and dreams, just like they were to you. They're both going at it now. This 3D work is incredible. Imagine if Black Clover looked like this the entirety of the show. It would... Oh, my God. Ooh! That was well done. 
Like Conrad, he almost had that. These are the words from the future Wizard King. We're backing you up right into that blade. Noelle gets her power back. Use a fat sea dragon's roar. <gasps> the Valkyrie armor! She technically hasn't done the mermaid one yet. It's the only one better. This is... Look at me. Let's make some Noel clones. <gasps> Bro, this looks like a boss we would fight in Kingdom Hearts 2. This looks insane. Yes, they do. Absolute evasion. <laughs> the teamwork we have right now is going crazy. Even Gordon with Magna? <laughs> luck bro the individual fights that we've had have been incredible offering a second chance That is so true. Tell him, Asa. Tell him. From the royal house of Silva. Who is? What's his name? I got goosebumps from that because we know how much of a struggle that is in this world. That changed his whole mindset, because that was his biggest disdain. That was his biggest issue. Look at this fucking shot. Oh my god, Mary Leona. Oh my god. Of course it is. Okay, Madara, what are you summoning a meaty illiterate? Okay, he's Madara. Good to know. They're playing the first opening? Are you serious? I have goosebumps. Julius? The Imperial Sword? The sword will show you. I love how everyone's connecting their powers for this. Even knocked. Someone who's doing the right thing gets rewarded. Asta with the Imperial Sword absorbing everyone's magic. What? Oh my god. Look at the way that looks. That might be the thumbnail. I don't know. This movie is just balls to the wall, non stop fuckery in the best way possible. I need to know the story of the necklace. Show me the picture. Oh, how it cuts from his squad. What takes his inspiration over to the Black Bulls? Bro. We're in space? I can't even... You know what I'm trying to say. We're fighting an asteroid in space. What the fucking... Like, think about where fucking Asa started as an orphan in Hodge. Look at this. He's like Sasuke, the way he just fucking elegantly destroyed that. Oh my god. Knocked the man's soul out of his body. Talk about a shot. Holy shit. Because you know someone like Austin's, Asta is there to 
carry out the thing you should have been doing. That warm, that warm world of yours. 100%. Look at that shot. Is your magic. That's beautiful. With Princia and the rest of them. I never got the other two's names. And the Imperial Sword is done. Good. I don't think power like that. Oh my god, look at that shot. Squad and his wife. Yep. I assumed it was something of the sort. That... <laughs> Seems like we got an after credit scene. Let's see what we got. Kind of does shake their mentality of the Wizard King, huh? This is classic Black Clover right here. They never did finish their match. That is a good point. And just like that, Spirit Dive in Black form. We're not going to see this fight, but I love how this is the end it. And, oh, uh, god damn you, Black Clover. I need the show back. You guys want to come out with the show? Just back, just please. Well, I got to say, all in all, that was exactly what I was hoping for and more. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. There wasn't that much of like an enhanced, super deep, you know, story there. But in terms of giving me what I wanted, which is amazing Black Clover fights, and amazing Black Clover moments with the characters that have been developed so well so far between there's gonna be a lot between characters Mira Leona, Nozel, Fuegolian, the rest of the captains, Yami, mixed with the Black Bulls doing their teamwork, mixed with like Noel and how that transfers over to uh, everybody. Everybody had a moment to shine. Everybody. And it was so well handled and so well executed. It was literally from minute one till the end, balls to the wall. We had like five minutes of break time where Mimosa's like, okay, guys, we got a tournament. I'm like, cool, attorney, let's do it. And then, oh, <laughs> that movie was incredible. The action was insane. The magic, I love seeing the new magic. If you guys want to let me know any details you guys know about the previous uh, Wizard Kings, I would love it. All I know is Princia and uh, Conrad, I almost said Jared Leto. But I don't know the other two, even though I really like the other two. I don't. I want to know more about the story of Barrier Boy and why he wanted to do what he wanted. Uh, maybe I missed it. But I know that old man Iceman was worried about noble and royal oppression, which is a real issue, and and people un, un wrong or wrongfully being oppressed. And then Princia had to do with she was the strongest and was so alone because no one could ever make her feel the way she wanted to feel. You know, so very interesting. Loved it, loved our characters, loved the animation. I know that Dante, Yami, Asta fight is like up there, but I don't know, guys. This this was beautiful through and through. This whole movie was gorgeous. I don't know what else to say. It was just a great movie. Had a great time. I thoroughly miss Black Clover. I know there's quite a few volumes, quite a few chapters of the manga that need to be read by me. I just I'm praying that one of these days the announcement that the anime is coming back is going to happen. I think Tabata, Yuki Tabata, the mangaka, maybe is finishing the manga soon. I have no idea the status or, or the updates. I just know that Black Clover was a staple on this channel of me watching it with you guys, and I miss it immensely. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this movie as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want to watch this one in the full uncut version with me. Or you get early access and uncut the other things I'm watching, you know? Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.